Hello everybody, this is Brother Luke, Sin City Preacher. I think this will be a very short video and I just want to pose three questions for everyone. When I say everyone is that everybody in the whole world must answer these questions. You must answer these questions correctly. The first question is, who is Jesus? Some people say that he was a great moral teacher. Others say he was a great prophet. Others say that he didn't even exist. It's just a myth. What does the Bible say? The Bible says, and Jesus Christ himself claimed, that he is eternal God Almighty. God manifest in the flesh. Jesus is not a created being like us. Jesus is the creator of all things. He does not have a beginning. He does not have an end. Jesus Christ is eternal, God Almighty. Now, the next question is, what did Jesus do for you? Um, Jesus said that he came down from heaven and became a man. He said that the reason he became a man was in order to die. And the Bible says, and history records that, in fact, he did die. He was crucified. But Jesus said the reason he came and became a man was to die, but why did he have to die? Well, the Bible says that he had to die so that you could live. He died so that you could have life everlasting. Now, the Bible records that Jesus lived a perfect, sinless life. No one in history has ever done that except Jesus. The Bible says we've all sinned, we've all come short of the glory of God. I know that some people sin more than others, it seems, and we all have our various varieties of sins. But it's not important the number of sins, and it's not important the type of sin. The fact is, we are all sinners, and because of our sin, the Bible says that we're separated from God. We cannot have the relationship with God that we were created for. So Jesus died on that cross and paid for your sins and my sins. And Jesus lived a perfect sinless life. We couldn't, but he did it. And there's a principle that we find in the Bible. It's an exchange. We kind of trade places with Jesus. Our sin were transferred onto Jesus on the cross. He paid for our sins. He became sin for us, the Bible says. And his perfect righteousness, from his first breath to his last, he never had one bad thought. He never did one bad deed. He always did good. And all of the good things Jesus did, that perfection, that perfect life of Jesus, is credited to you and to me when we believe in Jesus. So, what did he do for us? He gives us 
righteousness that's credited to us, even though he's the one that did it. And he, he paid for our sins in the cross, even though they were not his sins, our sins were charged to him. He paid for our sins. Now the Bible says that he was buried and on the third day he rose from the dead bodily. And there were over 500 eyewitnesses that ate with him, drank with him, touched him during that time of the bodily resurrection. So there is proof beyond any doubt at all that Jesus did raise bodily from the dead. Now, why did he do that? He did that for you too. The bodily resurrection was done to give us a sign, proof positive, that he is who he claimed to be, God in the flesh. And that he did what he came to do. He was successful. He accomplished paying for our sins and li living a perfect life himself so that we could be credited for his perfect life. That's the significance of Jesus' bodily resurrection. And then the, the third question I want to ask you is, what did Jesus promise you? The Bible tells us that uh, there will come a day when every person who's ever lived will also be raised from the dead. There will be Jesus was raised from the dead, and he says that, like his resurrection, we also will all be raised from the dead. The people who never put their faith in Jesus, they're raised to go to the judgment, and because they never put their faith in Jesus, the judgment will declare that they never believed in Jesus, so they will suffer what the Bible calls the second death in the lake of fire. They die and perish. But those of us who are resurrected and have believed on Jesus Christ, Jesus promises us that we will not suffer the second death. We will not be condemned. Instead, we are declared righteous and holy and acceptable to God. And that we will have eternal life in heaven. The Bible says that there will be new heavens and new earth and heaven on earth will be united. And we will live forever with God. Like Adam and Eve did in the Garden of Eden. We will be living with God in paradise on earth. That is a promise from Jesus Christ, a promise to you who has believed in Jesus. So to sum this up, the three questions that are critically important that you must understand and answer these questions correctly. Who is Jesus? What did he do for you? And what has he promised you? If you understand all of this, and if you believe everything I've just said is true, then his promises apply to you. It's absolutely certain, it's absolutely guaranteed that you have eternal life in the new heavens and the new earth with God, with Jesus Christ, paradise on earth. That is promised to you. And it is irrevocable. It's irreversible. It's certain. Now, if you understand this, and if you believe it, then you possess it. And 
natural response is joy. Because you are certain and you are guaranteed that you have heaven on earth promised to you. You will live forever. I hope you understand. I hope you agree. I hope you really believe and you answer these three questions correctly. Please make a comment and let me know what you think of these three questions. Bless you all in the name of our great Savior God, Jesus.